So we just solved it with the quadratic formula and our essential numbers that we're looking at are 28.95 and 11.05. But this problem's asking about human beings. You're not going to have 28.95 humans unless they cut their nails really short and shave off a bit of a human. Same thing as the 11.05. So we're going to essentially just be looking at, we'll round that to 29 people. And we'll round this to 11 people. So those are kind of our real numbers that we're looking at. So 11 is here-ish, 29 is there-ish, but that's okay. We're going to look at three different chunks of this graph. So let's pick a spot in the left chunk. Let's go with zero because zero is nice and easy to work with. Now, in this box over here, this is the original inequality that we started with. So we're going to try out zero in that original inequality. Zero times anything is zero. So all this stuff works out to zero plus zero minus 3,000. So negative 3,000 is greater than 5,000. Now, is negative 3,000 greater than 5,000? No. So that left chunk is out. Now let's look at the middle chunk. Something between 11 and 29. I'm going to go with 20 just because that looks like a pretty easy number to work with. So let's try that out. Oops, negative 25 times 20 squared plus 1,000 times 20 minus 3,000 greater than 5,000. It'll show up there eventually, hopefully. All right, let's see. Is it still, uh... oh boy. Smart Notebook doesn't like how much I'm writing on this board. I think we're frozen, folks. I think we're frozen. All right, let's just calculate it here. 20 squared is 400 times negative 25. It's negative 10,000. Hmm, how can we improvise here? I got an idea. Hang with me. You know what? We'll just start the next video. This will load up in a minute.